Hello, my name is Lloyd Chapman. I'm president and founder of the American Small Business League. I'd like to read to you our December 10, 2008 press release entitled, Obama Will Allow Fortune 500 Firms to Receive Federal Small Business Contracts. President-elect Obama has dropped a campaign promise to end Bush administration policies that have allowed Fortune 500 firms to receive federal small business contracts. In February, President-elect Obama released the following statement. Over half of all Americans work for a small business. Small businesses are the backbone of our nation's economy, and we must protect this great resource. It's time to end the diversion of federal small business contracts to corporate giants. Just two days after the election, the Obama-Biden transition team launched its transition website, change.gov. Any mention of President-elect Obama's campaign promise to stop Fortune 500 firms from hijacking government small business contracts had vanished without explanation. Since 2003, more than a dozen federal investigations have found widespread fraud and abuse in, in every federal small business contracting program under the Bush administration. Several investigations found Fortune 500 firms and thousands of other large businesses had received billions of dollars in federal small business contracts. Two separate investigations found large businesses had received federal small business contracts illegally through vendor deception and false certifications. In July, the Department of the Interior Office of the Inspector General found that agency had awarded millions of dollars in federal small business contracts to Fortune 500 firms such as Xerox, John Deere, Sherwin-Williams, Dell, Worldwide Technologies, Home Depot, McGraw-Hill, Rico, Starwood Hotels, and Weyerhaeuser. In October, the Washington Post released an independent study which found approximately 40% of all federal uh, prime small business contracts had actually gone to Fortune 500 firms. Based upon the sample used by the Washington Post, as much as 80% of government small business contracts could be going to Fortune 500 firms and thousands of other large businesses. The diversions of billions of dollars in government small business contracts to Fortune 500 firms has been reported by most of the nation's largest newspapers, over 200 radio stations, and by ABC, CBS, and CNN. Considering the current state of, of the U.S. economy, Obama's decision to drop his campaign promise to rescue millions of middle-class firms and end the diversion of federal small business contracts to corporate giants is seen by small business owners and advocates as a clear indication that the Obama administration will not be pro-American small business. The American Small Business League predicts that President-elect Obama will enact legislation policies that will hurt American small businesses and even create more loopholes that will allow some of the nation's wealthiest investors to take federal contracts earmarked for legitimate small businesses. So we're very concerned about this. Um, it's very suspicious that Barack Obama made that statement uh, and then dropped any mention of it from his website. If you go and look at the campaign website, he actually changed the quote to try to make it look like he never said it. So our nation is on the verge of one of the worst economic downturns in 100 years, according to Alan Greenspan. And we have to ask ourselves, why is our new president um, dropping a policy that I think 99% of all Americans would agree, uh, Fortune 500 firms should not be getting government small business contracts, and yet Barack Obama has dropped any mention of that. So I hope you'll support me in letting him and Congress know that we don't think Fortune 500 firms should be allowed anywhere near America's small business contracting programs, and that Congress should adopt legislation immediately to stop the flow of this country's small business contracts to Fortune 500 companies. And certainly, uh, President-elect Obama and Congress should not create any more loopholes that would divert even more of those funds to wealthy venture capitalists. I'm Lloyd Shatton with the American Small Business League, and thank you.